As you walk around the streets of Barcelona, seeing people using their bicycles to go about their daily business becomes an increasingly common sight. This is in no small part thanks to the city's widespread cycle infrastructure, which is always being expanded, with over 40% of cycle lanes being built in the last six years. Despite this, currently only 2% of commutes in the Catalan capital are done by bike, making this the least popular method of transport behind driving, public transport and on foot. Thanks to 230 kilometers of cycle lanes creating a well-integrated and connected network, a vast majority of Barcelona's population lives within just 300 meters of a cycle lane, be they on the road, on the pavement or segregated entirely. Furthermore, in 2007, the Barcelona City Council launched the Bising Cycle Hire Scheme to help those who did not have a bicycle get into cycling around the city, thus beating many other European cities to the trend, such as Paris, Madrid and London. It also plays an important role because uh, it's very easy to, to uh, if you are a Barcelona citizen living all the year here. Now we are, uh, we have 600,000 trips made by Bithing every day and, and, um, and well, and it's growing, it's growing, but we are now, we're improving the system. However, one cannot talk about urban cycling without bringing up the question of safety. Thankfully, for the most part, cycle lanes are separated from main traffic through armadillo style and regular bollards, as well as physically separated lanes. In the last decade, there are around 7,500 accidents involving bicycles, with an upward trend. However, this is explained in part by a 77% increase in the number of cyclists in the same period. The new bicycle lanes we are building uh, are um, separated, segregated from the traffic uh, physically, uh, with the traffic lights and, and all of the signs and are, are are, do, are, are done uh, following the safety uh, safety reasons and uh, and very important uh, trying to um, explain everybody that it's necessary to share the public space. Nonetheless, Barcelona is already a city with a healthy cycle infrastructure and thanks to its climate, geography and size has the potential to accommodate even more cyclists than there already are. It's an amazing city, so we have very good weather all the year, That's so it's a very nice point. The second one is very flat, almost flat, but not too much. It's very small, so if you need to go anywhere, you only need five kilometers. So if you really want to use bicycle, uh, this kind of city is the, the city you need to choose. <laughs> Recognising this, the Barcelona City Council has launched its 2024 Urban Mobility Plan, which aims to promote the use of cycling by increasing the number of cycle lanes in the city by over 40% in the hope of more than doubling the number of chips made by bike in the coming years.